And welcome back, guys, to fucking place Neo Scavenger. Now, I come with, unfortunately, a bit of bad news. Really, it's not even going to lie. A lot of bad news, unfortunately. Um, My save file for Neo Scavenger got deleted. And um, unfortunately, it sucks because I was really enjoying that run. And it was probably one of the more <laughs> successful runs I've had in this game at altogether. Uh, unfortunately, I think what happens is because of the way of uh, how Neo Scavenger saves its save files. Uh, I'm really prudent when it comes to uh, PC upkeep. So I have like a lot of programs that like you know run on cleanup shit and whatnot. I believe that the save file for Neil Scavenger kind of works as a Flash or a Java file or something to that degree. I'm imagining because that's the only reason why one of my, I guess, uh, programs that upkeeps my PC would have pretty much detected it and deleted it and whatnot. If not one of my registry cleaners, yada yada yada. So unfortunately for me. I've lost that uh, footage, so we're going to have to start new. Hopefully that's okay with you guys, and I'm going to try to at least re emulate what happened with our Lex character, because I was enjoying that uh, melee, uh, melee build, I should say. So, um, at least now we could kind of just uh, skip the introduction and just kind of jump back into the game. So, if I remember correctly, I did have melee as one of my uh, options here, so let's put this as soon as I could fucking grab it. What's going on? Oh, right. right. I'm over here trying to drag him, and I remember you have to click on it and then drag it over. Um, so let's get that. Let's get Botany. And let's go with a higher chance of hitting with range weapon. Ranged, I guess, or hiding. I think I had uh, tracking, right? I I'm pretty sure I had tracking because that was letting me hide my tracks when I was running away. And Eagle Eye can see one hex further than normal. Light in line of sight permitting. You can detect hidden things easier. So let's take Eagle Eye as well. <clears throat> and as for our... I think let's go with metabolism, food and water intake rate increase, healing rate slightly increased, melee attack effectiveness is lessened and can carry less, fragile, I think I had insomniac as well, so let's go with insomniac, and you know what, let's give him metabolism, and just basically give us a little bit more uh, situation here, uh, athletic less fatigue per move can run away faster in battle, and can run further on map before run moves is please. so let's go with athletic for sure, and um, hiding, Hide a bit easier. Tough or electrician? Let's go with medic just because I feel that uh, if I injure myself, at least I can kind of patch myself up, right? So we're still doing the same thing. Uh, same strong as uh, on PCP, uh, you know, post apocalypse scavenger. So <laughs> that's not going to change at all. So let's go ahead and confirm this out. Alrighty. Uh, you wake up disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod, still damp from cryo fluid. The stick dust from the floor dings your skin, leaving a clean spot in the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room, there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming fast. So, remember from the last run, this is obviously going to be a beast that's going to come and look for you. Um, I've never, I've, I didn't have botany last time, so I could use my knowledge of plants to try to, I guess, trick this beast. I don't think that's going to work out, though, medic. Emergency dump another stasis tank. And dive through the window, or prepare to fight it. So I don't have hiding this time, which is uh, really interesting. So let's go with, um... Oh, fuck. I don't want to fight this beast, uh, so let's go... <laughs> you know what? Who cares? Let's try botany. Let's see what my knowledge of plants could do for this. A plant catches your eye as you scan the room for supplies. Uh, Risen is communist. The communist? It's a communist plant, apparently. Uh, the, uh, the castor oil plant is growing in from the window. You remember that this plant can be highly toxic and most animals will avoid it if possible. Breaking off some branches, you quickly stomp on leaves and seeds, rubbing the fragments on your feet and hands. You scatter the rest in the doorway just in time. The predatory dog-like creature comes to a halt as it reaches the doorway, sniffing the plants and shaking its head in disgust. You thrust your hands toward it and it steps back further, obviously uninterested in your toxic stent. With one more huff, it pots down to the hall. It pats down to the hall, looking for uh, palatable prey. So apparently, my knowledge of plants just scared the shit out of this fucking guy. I mean, I wouldn't mess with me either. I mean, apparently I'm the Martha Stewart of uh, the post-apocalyptic world. So now that we've done that, we have a few options to mess around with it. Use Eagle Eye to notice details. So let's see what I notice this time. Something catches your eye as you scan the room, obscured in the shadows behind tank number two. It looks like something small metallic is lying on the floor. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a multi-tool pocket knife. Probably left behind by maintenance personnel ages ago, and nobody saw it since. Whoever left it here, you're pretty sure they don't need it as much as you, so you decide to take it. So I think that's going to be the pocket knife, and we're going to get that again, so that's good. Alright, let's check out what Medic does for us. Search for emergency equipment. That should be useful here. Let me check out my screen here, though, really quickly. Let me go ahead and use this, uh... 
it's not a weapon in reality, though, is it? I'm gonna fucking use it as a weapon, so let me... What's my right hand here? Yeah, bitch. Alright. Alright, good. Alright, so uh, that's gonna be our weapon there, and now let's uh, go back out of here. Alright. And let's go with Medic. You recall that standard practice is to have a crash kit nearby in facilities like this and check for emergency cabinets around the room. Sure enough, there's a cabinet just by the door and it still has a medical kit in it. Fucking perfect. Alrighty. Value, quite valuable. It has three items inside. Alrighty, so, um... How do I... Uh, don't I have the bag? Why can't I put this in... Uh, I don't have a backpack yet, it's the problem. Um... I mean, I definitely want to... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. It looks like there's, uh, empty out. Empty out. Clean rags. Plastic pill bottle labeled Pharmacan. Alright, so we don't need to take the first aid kit in our hand, do I? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I could use it as a carrying device. Well then, let's actually just put this shit back in here as a matter of fact, and then I guess we'll take it by hand. I have no other choice, really. Alright, so, um, let's go back out here. Alrighty, so, I'm um, tracking. Search for clues. The dust in the ground makes it easy for your trained eye to pick up one set of our tracks in particular. The tracks belong to a humanoid dragging something, probably a mantle or cloak. It was here fairly recently, probably in the past 24 hours. It entered through the doorway, walked to your stasis tank, and then to the control console, and then left again. You'd bet good money, based on the creature you just faced, that it wasn't the dog man who made those tracks. Alrighty, so... And let's search for the console for records, and this is the same thing as last time. It gives you a little bit of a rundown as to who is who. Tank 1 always has Anton Blubber. Tank 5 is your tank, obviously, and there's no data on you. So we could uh, skip this one here. Tracking, I already did that, didn't I? Yeah, I did that already. So let's get the fuck out of here and climb out the window. Alright, you decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the sill and outside. Rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp. Probably morning. You're in the parking lot of a cryo facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place. Or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. Alrighty, and this is basically a little riddle rundown. We already gone through this though, so we're gonna skip this for now. Alright. So we just booked it from here. Uh, there's tracks in the hex that we're on. But we want to go to this next track over here, because there might be a few items for us. So, uh, right now our current side is it's barefoot. Our current weapon is a punch, which that shouldn't be the case. Uh, it should be the multi-blade tool, though. Do I have to equip it on the other hand? Not too. No, man. That's, that's our weapon right there. Fuck that shit. Right, multi-blade tool, that's the weapon. There you go. Do this again? Yeah, there you go. Our current weapon is the Pearson Ravager multi-tool pocket knife. I like that. Ravager. Fucking makes it seem like I'm gonna do some shit here. Alright, so now, we're in a situation where we could, uh... I guess, uh, not run. We can't, we shouldn't hide. Hide, spy on targeted creature. There's no targeted creatures, though. Show the main map. That's exactly where we're at. This is a zoomed out version. Alright, so there's obviously nothing around us. So, let's continue on to the next, uh, tile here. Let's see. Anything of interest here? Uh, river. Nope. So, really nothing for us to do here, so... Oh, okay. That's not what I should be doing. <laughs> uh, I apologize. The, uh, file for that is covered by my, um, frame rate ticker for my recording, so it's... <laughs> I forgot that was up there. Alright, so here we could kind of hide our tracks, but there's nobody really on foot behind us. So let's proceed on this way here. And let's keep in mind that this was our last move, so we are now moveless, and we're gonna end our turn. And there is gonna be a bandit that comes after us. Alright. So, he's still a little bit away from us. Uh, he's visible, he's in no cover, and he has a hunting rifle with a scope. So, if we could beat the shit out of this man, we could take that hunting rifle and, uh, you know, probably end his life. However, uh, whether we are um, <laughs> capable of doing that is beyond the other situation. So, here is the real um, big issue. Do I want to sprint away or do I want to come at him? But you know what? I feel that... I feel that I want to take that hunting rifle away from him. Uh, I mean, if I could kind of cover ground and get close to him, I figure I could beat him up. I mean, he's not gonna... I mean, it's kind of hard to shoot somebody up close with a hunting rifle with a scope, I'd imagine. So, 
Let's, uh, let's, uh, hopefully my train of thought works out here. Let's go ahead and charge. Confirm. Alrighty, player is exposed to easy for attack. Bandit charges at player. Bandit is exposed for easy for an attack. <clears throat> for a moment. Alright, so, um, we can't do much yet, so let's go ahead and charge once again. We're just covering ground right now. So, uh, we both charge at each other. So this guy has the same, uh, thought that I do. Like, we're gonna basically, this is gonna be a, a fucking fight right now. So I'm gonna charge again. Alrighty, Bandit tries to retreat from player, but can't get away. So now he's running away. He's probably scared shitless. <coughs> Sorry for my voice there. He's probably scared shitless because I'm a man unarmed. Well, I have a fucking pocket knife. But I'm running at this man even though I see a fucking rifle in his hand. So he's probably like, man, fuck this. Uh, this guy's fucking batshit insane. So I'm gonna run after him again. So the bandit charges at the player. Bandit is exposed, easy for an attacker. We're up close now. So now we're gonna punch this man in the face, whatever it takes. So, uh, one range away, so we're definitely in attack range now. Melee search. Launch a flurry of melee attacks, or melee attacks, I should say. Chance to hit target one to three times and stun them for one turn. Um, let's... Or I could just parry. However, I doubt I'm going to be able to parry a fucking rifle. So, let's go ahead and do a melee, a melee surge. <clears throat> Player tries to launch a flurry of attacks at Bandits, but misses. Player needs a moment to recover before acting again. Bandit desperately tries to retreat from the player, but can't get away. He's trying to run away. Which is oddly enough. And he did. He definitely did. So I'm going to go after this man, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't see why I shouldn't. So, um, what happened here? <clears throat> Let's search the area, I guess. And there he is. He was fucking hiding. Alrighty, so... This guy is terrified of me. So how about... How about I demand your surrender? No, he didn't... Didn't, uh... Didn't surrender. So, let's, uh... I'll demand a surrender one more time. I mean, you've been scared. You've been running away from me, right? Bandit has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Bandit is exposed easy for attack in a moment. Alright, so good. Perfect. He tried to tackle me, but he missed. Why he's not using his rifles beyond me? So now, I am going to, um, I'm going to advance one space. Bandit gets up. All right, so now we're going to do this shit again. Bandit is exposed easy for attack. Player grazes Bandit's lower chest with a multi-blue, uh, multi-blue, multi-tool blade. Sorry. Player grazes Bandit's upper left leg with a multi-tool blade, and player grazes Bandit's lower chest with a multi-tool blade. Bandit is bleeding, so he tried threatening me. Yeah, that's not going to work, bro. Alrighty, so now this guy is... I've kind of fucked him up a little bit. So, uh, I'm going to tackle him. Let's tackle this guy. Dives at the target, moving one space closer and trying to knock it down. Chance to knock down the target and make them lose one turn. Must see target, so let's go ahead and tackle him. Uh, Bandit desperately tries to retreat from player, but can't get away. Bandit is exposed, easy for attack, and Bandit is bleeding. So, um... My tackle didn't work, unfortunately, though. So let me get up. He's trying to run away again. And Bandit is bleeding. Alrighty, so um, let's go ahead and melee search. Oh, actually, no, no, he is down. He's down. Actually, he's going to go away. So let me kick him while he's down. Tough guy. I'm kicking a man while he's down. Bandit upper chest was smacked. Bandit has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Bandit is bleeding. So let me kick him again. Bandit needs a moment to recover before acting again. Bandit has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. So I smacked his upper stomach this time. So now... I... Let me... Uh, fuck it. Let me just surge him again. Player needs a moment in recovery before acting again. Player graced Bandit's lower left leg with a multi-tool blade. I also graced his head twice, and now he's fucking bleeding. Alrighty, so let's continue here. Alrighty, so now I fucked you up long enough. I'm gonna demand your surrender, and you better give it to me. Player demands surrender, Bandit gets up, Bandit is bleeding, so he didn't surrender. So let me go and tackle him again. Alright, Bandit is desperately tries to retreat from the player, but can't get away. Bandit exposed, for easy for an attack next movement. So, he doesn't want to surrender, unfortunately. Player gets up, Bandit charges that player. Oh, alright. So let me dodge your charge. Player is dodging out of the way, making them hard to hit for the moment. Bandit offers their surrender to the player. Good. Accept surrender. Excellent. So now, let's go into... Um... Let's go into the item screen here. <laughs> here we go. Value 208. Contents empty. He's got no... No wonder he was, uh... Not using... He doesn't have any bullets, unfortunately. Alrighty, so... Uh, it's still gonna work, at least, as a, we a way to kind of deter uh, people to fuck with me, right? I mean... I don't think you want to mess with a guy who has a... Pretty much a, um... Do I have any cuts on me? I don't think I do. 
Seems like I'm, actually no. This, this is this many for now. We're good. We're we're in perfectly good health here. Uh, let's see. Pharmacon hide again. Prescription painkillers and prescription antibiotics. So that's good. I got some health things here. All right. So this guy also had a PWtronics digital water tester. Huh. Pretty good. The content is empty though. And charges has got zero charges. So it's fucking useless though, isn't it? I guess I could take it in case I could recharge it. Oh, I could put it in my first aid contents. Good. Let me put some pants on then. <clears throat> Let me put some shoes on as well. At least one shoe. Uh, let's keep the hospital going on for now. And Marsh. And okay, we do need the multi-tool. I'm not going to drop that. I wish that I could fucking... Ah, oh, fit that some. Can I, uh... Okay, that's what did I just do? <laughs> that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, here. I was trying to make a uh, turn this thing around. Okay, so do I want to leave the clean rags from the multi tool kit? And I think I kind of want to do honestly. I really do. Uh oh, unless. Wait a minute. Oh, I need three, don't I? Alrighty. This is edible. That is the only downside. So how about. Use this. Player ate some mushroom. Alright, good. Um, how is your... You're well fed. Alright, so let's just eat that again and just keep you completely filled up. And now what I want to do is essentially... Um... Put this in my pocket and then we'll put the clean rags in here. Alright, we're good to go then. Excellent. And I could use the rifle but as a weapon, I suppose, so... <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I think I probably will as a matter of fact. Alright, so let's get out of here. That was, uh, good. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's continue onward here, and let's, uh, we got how many turns left? We got two more turns, so let's jump over here, and, uh, player is unable to see well in these conditions, so making, an act uh, making activity difficult, so that means our uh, turn is pretty much over. There's gonna be a city coming up soon, so that's good. good. So, um, we don't need any sleep just yet, right? No. So let's go ahead and end turn. Oh, okay. Two guys just showed up. Player isn't able to. Uh, player has moderate hypothermia. Oh, I'm freezing. That's for sure. Oh, there's a house over here. Okay. Um. Let's try to go to this house. Uh, fuck those bandits. Okay. I wasn't trying to jump there. Alrighty, cool. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Building stands in ruins. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pave and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle the sky like monstrous, leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen the Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can find from the ruins. Alright. Oh, what is that? A deer? Oh, that's probably a deer or a doe. No, it's a deer. Alright, so... We're in town. We do have uh, hypothermia, though, or moderate hypothermia. So we have to definitely end our turn here, unfortunately. Hopefully these bandits don't come after us. Okay, bandits, stay the fuck away. Yeah, just keep moving through there. Go do your thing. Good. Now it's raining, though, so that's not good. Um, So we're going to scavenge this area for now. Alrighty. Right, okay. Well, I already know how to do that. So, um, here we go. We uh, we found an abandoned mobile home, so let's go ahead and get into this thing here. <clears throat> like the other suburban homes, the mobile homes were on the front lines in a war between fleeing urban populations and supernatural hordes from the wilds. However, their smaller sizes often means there's less to be found in each. So, I guess we can't really do much uh, other than scavenge the hex. Looking around you, there appears to be a few areas worth checking out. What, what happened in the mobile home? There was nothing in there? Ah, uh, I guess I don't have any of the skills to actually, uh, properly scavenge it, so... it's really not much here. Yeah. Alrighty, so... Unfortunate... Oh, actually, no. You found something. Go to the item screen. Alrighty. So I did find something after all. What do we have here? A plastic sled? What would that be useful for? Handful of small twigs and bark. A shard. Cornicola plastic bottle that's empty. And stones, and hey, night vision goggles that are off, and actually still have a condition on them. Good. Put that shit on, bro. All right, there we go. And yes, a shopping bag. Good. That's what I kind of really wanted. <laughs> Put that in there. Excellent. So now this fucking, we have a backpack of some kind. So let's go and take the uh, plastic bottle and 
a Cavilo painkiller. Let's go ahead and take this as well. But we could put that in there with our first aid kit for sure. Alrighty, anything else that we want to take? Doesn't... No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, all right, so that's pretty much it. So uh, oh, I'll count it there and continue onward. Oh, we are—we do have mild hypothermia. I do have uh, antibiotics. Hopefully that works out. All right, so um, if we continue going over here, maybe I could beat this deer to death. <laughs> I know it sounds fucking brutal, but maybe. There's a lot of deer, as a matter of fact. And we that was our last move, so we definitely do want to end our turn now. Hope, oh, there comes a bandit. Man is not doing anything to me just yet, but he probably will, right? Deers is running away. Maybe he was just out hunting. Nope, oh, two of them came. All right. Yep. And this guy's got a hunting rifle. And something tells me that he probably has bullets. So, um, let's see here. I can run away. Okay, uh, let's see the other guy. This guy has a broken bottle. So, the guy with the hunting rifle is a bit farther than us. Um, you know what? I don't want to deal with two of them, so let me just, uh, retreat. Hopefully it works out. It did not. Can't get away. Alrighty, so, um, I can't fight two of these motherfuckers is a problem, though. So, let me, uh, let me run. Okay. Try to do a desperate retreat again. Not working. Can't get away. Let's do another desperate retreat. Not working. Oh, what is this? Sprint away. Sprint away, fucker. I, what's going on, man? I, I'm athletic for no reason, apparently, because I can't keep escaping from these guys. Alrighty, uh, desperate retreat one more time. Deer is exposed for an easy attack at the moment, so I apparently ran away from these guys and landed in a deer. Alrighty. Um, I don't want to deal with the deer right now, either. I kind of want to get away from the bandits, so let me... Oh, I can sneak towards them, but that's not going to be the case. Let me just do a... Uh, a hidden retreat, I guess? There you go. And we're fucking away from this clusterfuck head shit that happened there. There's a city over here. Um, we have three moves left, so let's see if we could kind of move here. And here. Alrighty, and let's end our turn. These bandits are coming right at me again. Hey, fuck you, bandits. I really hate the fact that you guys move like... Look, at, look how far you move. Coming right at me. Alright, it's the guy with the broken bottle. This guy... Probably has it coming to him, honestly. So how about this? I'm gonna demand your surrender. I'm gonna, first of all, put my scope out. Alright? And I'm gonna demand your surrender. And he surrendered! No, he retreated. Well, good. Good enough. <laughs> I guess when he saw that scope, he was like, Yeah, you know what? Fuck that. I don't blame him. Let's continue on here, and let's... Oh, what is... Is there a fucking... Oh, there's a fucking monster in that city. Okay, um... Terrified. I am terrified. Let me jump in here. <laughs> I don't know what's in that fucking city, but it looks huge. Yeah, Bennis, you go deal with that fucking... That looks like a... What is that? Like a fucking giant spider? I don't know what that is, but that's terrifying. As that deer dances in front of me for some reason. It's the deer dance. The system up and down, apparently. Alright, so it's my turn again. Oh, man. It's the Enfield Horror. Alright, so really quickly, let's scavenge around this area. Maybe we could find some bullets so we can. Maybe we could shoot this motherfucker. Who knows? Alright, this concrete apartment looks, uh, building looks to be in better shape than most. Sure, the windows are all but gone, and a giant fissure runs along one wall, but this place looks as if it could still provide suitable shelter for someone. Perhaps that's what makes you feel so nervous about approaching it. Doesn't matter, you're gonna fucking, uh, scavenge this shit. You found something. Go to the item screen and blah blah blah. Alrighty, so let's go check out what we found here. Another sled. Not useful to me. Circuit Shack Carter Flashlight. Oh, flashlight. Okay, that could work out. What else? A packet of Flint's fancy style ketchup. Well, you know what? Let's take some ketchup. You know, we might get hungry and find a use for it. There, there you go. Scrap of uh, paper. It reads rags from clothes. So this is going to be another note for a recipe. Uh, one medium absorbent, non-rigid, non-springy sheet. Uh, let's see. Well... Let's take it for now, just in case we could either use it for something. And then these are just stones, pebbles. What's this? Saltine crackers. Yeah, you know what? How am I doing? Well, I'm, I'm kind of well fed, but let's take the crackers with us. You know, crackers in the ketchup. I have, you know, I've kind of the. I think that's a new Atkins side, honestly. And an eight by ten car, a tarp. Ah, uh, feels like it could probably be useful for something. So let's just take it for now. I'm like I'm just walking around one foot by the oh, one, not one foot. 
If I was walking around one foot, I would like be like the total baller here. Post-apocalyptic world, just walking around one foot. No, but I'm walking around one shoe, I should say. So that's pretty much it for there. Um, well, we have our turns left. And do I want to risk it and go at this uh, fucking horror? I don't. <laughs> I kind of want to, but I don't. Oh, here comes a bandit. Even the bandit's fleeing away from him. Don't come at me, bandit. Stay away. All right, so he stayed away. Oh, man. Leon Field Horror. Uh, let me spy here. Let me spy at this bandit. And he's got the hunting rifle. And he's depositing loot. Ooh. Okay. So, how about we hide? All right, let's hide really quickly here. And, um, hide our tracks. And let's end this turn this way. So he went over there to deposit loot. And I'm shivering because I'm fucking outside dying. What is he doing now? I'm... I'm gonna continue to hide in my tracks and let me spy on this guy one more time. And he's depositing loot still. Alrighty. He can see, he can see me how? I'm, I'm fucking hiding. Hide tracks again and, and turn. Alrighty. Oh, there's two of them now. God fucking damn it. I was trying to avoid. Oh, man. I really want to see what's in there. What are these guys depositing? Oh, let's just fucking flee for now. I don't want to, but unfortunately, I kind of have to. There's another city over here. Oh, God. More of that fucking horror shit. Alright, so I'm shivering. I do need to find some fucking clothes. Something in reality. Alright, he came at me now. This is a guy with the broken bottle. This guy's been kind of asking for it, and honestly, so... Uh, I am about to, uh, pretty much, uh, meet him, make his, meet his maker now, because he's kind of been bothering me a lot. So how about this, guys? How about we end the episode here, and, uh, we will pick up from here next time and deal with this guy, hopefully take his fucking clothes, since we're, uh, you know, have mild hypothermia that's kind of developing. So either way, guys, hopefully you're into series so far, and I apologize for the first initial save loss, but I'm gonna continue playing this until we finish this run at least, so nothing crazy happens again. Uh, either way, guys, I will catch you next time.